my channel. My name's Jamila and this is Jamila Creates where we make beautiful things. So today, I have to admit, I'm halfway through this project already, um, but I'm really excited about it and that is a denim corset with a pink top. It's kind of like a tank top corset mix um, with scrap straps. So everything is made out of scraps first of all. Um, the corset is denim and the main tank part of the fabric is going to be um, my dad's old polo that I dyed reddish pink. Um, so I'm excited to start with that. If you want to see my inspiration, I will admit that's somewhat political, so that might be divisive, but that video is either up here, if it's out yet, or it will be coming soon. Um, so yeah, we're really excited about that. So let's get started. So the first thing I did was lay out all of the pieces of upcycled denim that I was working with um, so that I can figure out which pattern piece I want on which scrap of denim and you'll see that in the next clip. Alright, so here are all the pattern pieces cut out, um, for the front at least, for the back I still need to do that. Um, you can see that they're tiny individually but together they take up a lot of space. Um, right here, I haven't, I didn't put it in my, uh, Cricut pattern. I probably will. I just need to think about, um, how big exactly I want the placket or overlap to be. Um, I'm thinking about an inch, so I need a two inch strip of, um, denim here and here. And I'm thinking to have them just be this one. I have a lot of scraps because these are very tiny and I gave myself a lot of room because there's, you can't go wrong having lots of denim scraps. You can make so much out of it. So yeah, this is the pattern so far. It's a little perfectly matched, I guess, but I kind of like it in that sense. Like it doesn't have to be chaos all the time, although the theme of my collection is kind of chaotic. So maybe if I had this one be black and this one be light, but it's too late for that now. Plus they all have different stretches. Uh, these I actually cut on the jersey setting. I'm not sure if that was right. They're just so stretchy. Like, they're not even denim. They're so stretchy. They're basically mostly polyester, so that's fine. Um, I marked at the bottom with a little piece of washi tape what piece they were, just to keep it straight. Um, I have yet to mark if they're right or left. Um, I wanted to put it together, make sure it was right first. Um, when you put it together, it should have scoops in the front for your um, chest and that how much of a scoop kind of depends on um, your chest size. Mine is quite large so it just kind of looks like a giant scoop there. I think these could have been taller but they're not. Cricut is more of an art than a science like getting it the right size was a bit of a pain so hopefully this is the right size we will see. If not, you know, we could add a little bit of a patch up here, but because we're also sewing the t-shirt in, this could be right. Um, we will see. So, in a little bit, I'm just going to do the back the exact same way that I did the front with all the pieces. And then we'll have all of our pieces out and ready to cut. Alright, so here are all the pieces. Um, labeling it with washi tape was smart of me and here's the placket um, I decided to put interfacing on the inside uh, the denim has a little bit of stretch to it so I wanted to dampen that but also just to strengthen it for when we sew in the magnets um, there I am tapping it like an idiot what else is going on yep I'm just showing you where the magnets are gonna go which is going to be like opposite on each side. I planned it out really well um, for y'all and just kind of try to show it off. Um, now you can see where I'm just going to go over with the top stitch. Um, if you're doing this in the order I'm doing it, which is trying it on first, and I, I had a good reason for top stitching at this point. I just don't remember what it was. Um, don't top stitch side seams yet because that's where you're going to want to adjust. And here I'm working out um, adding a layer to the side because I kind of tried on the front by just holding in front of me and realized that it was the head shrunk by a lot. Um, the back is already put together and done at this point. 
Um, it's just the same patchwork as the front, just to make it little by little. There's nothing to teach there. It's just tedious. Um, I put a couple of decorative patches in too because some of the um, denim had pieces missing. It's the nature of upcycling, so I had to add patches there. So I'm just going to go over those except for the side seams with a decorative stitch and then I'm going to use the front and back to measure how big of a side I need. So I used a decorative um, stitch for the top stitches. Um, I'll show you the settings I had on my machine. It's just a little floral pattern. You don't have to do it like how I did it. Um, you do have to make sure you use a top stitch needle though. That's very important. But you don't have to do the same stitch I did. I just thought it looked nice. <laughs> didn't know how much of the side pieces I was going, going to use, but I decided to just top stitch them together anyway. You'll see in a sec. Yeah. So I sewed them and then top stitched them and then I'm just going to trim around the size that I need. And I think that's what I'm showing you right now is just trimming it to fit and tracing the sides. Um, yeah, I'm cutting that more straight. And then I'm going to trace the sides. Oh, no, this is, sorry. This is the um, under bust. I'm just making that more of a beautiful straight line because I think something got lost in translation there. Maybe I did it backwards, I'm not sure. So many pieces, you know. Um, now we're doing the sides, which just involves um, tracing the top and placing of the bottom and tracing the sides of the um, pattern and then I'm going to cut one on top of the other with um, either good sides together or in this case um, wrong sides together could be it too because I can't see what I'm doing so oh in this specific case sorry I I filmed this so long ago. Um, in this specific case, I didn't want the seams to match up perfectly, so what I did is I just traced, or I put it good sides together, and I just cut out the pattern, but I didn't lay it out completely um, even to each other because I want them to be a little bit different. one more side piece um, this wasn't having much to do with height or size I actually measured it against my size and subtracted for each piece and seam allowances and um, the black stripe is just decorative I thought I have so many little pieces anyway I want to kind of continue that trend and I also wanted just a thin straight black stripe for the look of it <laughs>
on this point in the mirror just making sure like I pinned the front together and then just pin the sides together to just try it on and see how it fit um, I was liking the fit of it so far so I decided it was time to do the um, side seams uh, just placing it right sides together I'm gonna have to cut the back a little bit to make that fit um, yeah if you want to do the placket before this it might be um, a good idea I had a good reason for not doing the placket before this but of course by now I've forgotten what it was but it was a good reason all right we are now on to the top um i actually dyed this top uh oh so the reason why i didn't place the plackets together yet was because i had yet to do the uh, top red piece um so here i had just seam ripped the back a little bit so that i could make it uh, the back was two pieces so i had to make a channel for the elastic um and sew the back together before i finished off the channel um, and now I'm just going to sew that up and put elastic through it. Um, now we are getting to the magnetic plackets. Uh, so I'm just pinning these together as a test run. I do realize that I have to put the magnets in them first. Um, but as a test run, I'm just trying to see if it's the right fit or if this is the right size if it'll go together etc you know make sure that I like that before I finish with it <laughs> together so that I could just triple quadruple check that I have the magnets on the correct sides of each other so that matches up with the other side of the corset um, I put a pin on the sides it's going to have the magnets and I'm just measuring um, of course how big they are and also how far apart I want them um, I cannot tell you for sure how much I did looking at the video I think it's one inch from the top and then one inch apart maybe it it only matters in terms of how many magnets you can put in at a time and you want it to be an even measurement so if you pick like half an inch between each magnet you have to be consistent um, but top and bottom is you want to give it at least an inch and I'm just place I'm just pinning down where all the magnets will be put um, I just got them on Amazon. They were easy to find.
in here and say that when I was sewing these, um, I just did a square. You can kind of see um, in the video that these are encased in plastic. Um, so I just did a square around the magnets and I made sure to triple enforce my seams um, because a couple of times I got a little too close to the magnet, but also because um, I just wanted to make sure that they'll hold because you know that's the um, part that receives a lot of attention in the shirt. <laughs> testing it before I sew the um, other side of the placket. Always make sure you read the instructions on things like magnets because there's a good side and a um, wrong side. <laughs> vibes um, it turns out that the front was a little longer than the back so I just um, pieced together a long strip of denim and I'm just sewing it in so that I can um, kind of top stitch over both sides of it kind of do a um, neat zigzag um, and it adds a little bit more of a controlled um, randomness that So I have the bottom done, except I'm not entirely sure what I want to do for the hem. I might just leave it um, open like this, or it looks a little neater on my sketch, so I might have to do something with it. But um, the problem is when you get over big, chunky places like here, here, um, that's going to need a top stitch needle. But I have double needles that are just regular double needles, and it will break it. So I'm going to have to figure out how to do that. Also, I don't think I can just leave this as is. I think I have to do something about the placket at least. But at least we have this. I'm going to save hemming that until the end. Um, I kind of chopped along here just a little bit. It had a little thing at the beginning. And since I'm adding the top, I didn't need that. So yeah, everywhere sewn. Everywhere is uh, painstakingly painstakingly top stitched um this is lovely but takes a little while so now for adding the top to it and i think what i'm gonna do is i'm going to start off by making a placket here that's the same size as this and this will also be magnetic um and then I'll have to add a placket to this piece as well, and then we'll see how much 
um, fabric I'll have to cut away after I do the plackets. But I want to do the plackets first and I want to make sure that this hem is on the top because I'm thinking of closing it off at the side seams. Like, let's say the side seam is here, closing it off here and putting some elastic around the back just to make sure that it fits. But if I put elastic around the front, it'll pop it open, so. Yeah, this was a really long time. Sorry, um, y'all, if I got kind of the order wrong while doing this voiceover, but apparently the placket was, um, indeed happened after the uh, denim corset. So here I am just kind of making sure that they're the same size, or roughly the same size, um, and that they match up well. And just kind of measuring it out. Um, and here I am doing the magnets there. It was pretty much the same way as the, um, you know, as the denim magnets, except I tried to get the last magnet a little bit closer to the top, um, just so that it doesn't plop open at the top, which it still kind of does, but it, you can kind of make a look out of it, so it's fine. Um, again, I would recommend y'all to um, just do the top as a regular tank top without a placket, and then the bottom as a magnetic uh, corset, because that by itself could be really cute, and I think the red that I did was kind of, it was a design choice, but if I could do it again, I'd do it separate. Um, so here I am working on the magnets. gross bathroom um, I'm in the process of moving so everything's just kind of out and waiting for me to pack it but you can see that I've uh, started lining these up I think I'm gonna end up taking off one of these magnets which I hate to do because I put so much effort into it but yeah it looks so much better Hang on. No, I don't need to mark it I know where it is um, I have pins under my armpits just to mark where those side seams are going to go. Um, 
But yeah, and I have these, although I'm just gonna mark this side and this side on each of them with a pen and then ruche it, um, you'll see. But yeah, it's definitely important to try it on before you start sewing to just see how it's going to um, go. I kind of don't like that it's half, but on the other hand, I like it high up, so I think I'm going to keep it like that. Um, I'm going to put elastic in the back, but it's important not to make it too tight because otherwise it'll just kind of fly open, and you don't want that. So, yeah. Now it's time to take it off, which is good because it's bothering my armpits. Um, I'll have to measure out. I think... They each belong one inch further to the back, but I'll just remember that. And let's get back to it. this pin right sides together this is what the inside looks like um, and then oops everything's sticking to the magnets um, this is the outside so far you can see that it's gathered under the bust and I have some gathers in the back because I forgot that um, you know with the elastic being so loose there's gonna be a little bit of there's cloth there. There's going to be a little bit of extra back here, so you can either gather it into the back, pin over it, and just sew loosely, or you can, um, when you're working on this, measure it out and make it a triangle shape, so that goes like that. Um, either way is probably good, but now the final step will be to sew this, and instead of hemming these, I think I'm just going to do one more blue thread layer of um, this embroidery here. I think that would look a lot better and just I want it to be longer. Oh yeah the straps too. So a couple more stages here. The grommet kit I ended up getting for this was a little bit for too thick of fabric for what I was doing. I had to put a lot of interface in there um, and I packed my iron already so Pro tip, you can use a hair straightener. You can, but it's not the best. Um, anyway, I just added a lot of interfacing. I ended up having to add some uh, denim and some fabric glue afterwards as well. Um, make sure your grommets are appropriately sized. I think I should have used smaller grommets and smaller straps. So to attach the straps in, I just kind of folded it, uh, or thread it through the grommet and then folded it over um, once. If it's a thinner fabric, you could do twice, but I just thought, you know, keep it easier for my sewing machine. And I did that on both sides. And um, then I just kind of measured how far from the back I wanted the other side of the stri uh, strap to go. That's the video everyone um, thank you so much for watching um, this concludes the video so 
please like, share, subscribe, comment, all of that. And sorry about this absence, but you know, I just moved, so I'm kind of dealing with that stuff right now. Um, but there'll be a new video as soon as I can get it out. Um, this one was filmed in Raleigh, so I have a couple things I've been filming here in Georgia. Um, I'll get to those as soon as I can, but in the meantime, uh, thanks for watching, and as always, happy crafting! Oh.